Welcome back to the Ma Nature Voice channel. As you know, my name is William. And, and I'm today, James. And today we have something that we did not get, but, but our dad brought it and we don't know what's in it. I hope it doesn't bite me. Is it a red-headed agama, maybe? Uh, it looks like it, maybe. It's probably a basilisk. <laughs> Is it a basilisk? Let's grab it behind the head. I can't. Here, let me see if I can film it in the, before you let it out of the thing. Let me okay. see. Is it a Komodo? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Look at the color of the tail. It was bright orange when I put it in there. And it's an Agama. Mm-hmm. That's really cool. He was so fast. <laughs> I bet. <laughs> but your dad's a little quicker. <laughs> James, you getting that other one? <laughs> Is there another one? Nope. That is really cool. It looks like he has a regenerated tail. Yep. Yeah, that's a red-headed agama. Because if you look right there, it's a lot more colored. And in this part, it's like reddish. <laughs> he has some really nice purples on his arm. His color's coming back now. That's most likely why he has a regenerated tail because he's a juvenile male and he's um, competing with the larger males for me. The red-headed agama comes from Saharan Africa and they can live up to 20 years and get up to 12 to 14 inches. That's huge, that's like that big. The coloration on these are just insane. They have black, oranges, orange, orangish and kind of like a reddish purple tint on their tails and sometimes this guy has blue like a teal blue and they have purple on their arms and their head is a very very bright red and this guy he is a juvenile so his head is a little bit of a darker brown than the male than the bigger males that have a bright bright red bright bright red orange head and that's where they get their name redheaded agama these guys eat 
like insects like, such as termites, ants, and they also eat berries, and occasionally for protein and calcium, they'll even eat like pinky rats and pinky mice, which is... expecting him to just chill out. So we're gonna clean this guy up, and it's illegal to release them. So we are we're not gonna release him, and we're gonna clean him up, get all the stuck shit off of him, make him make sure he's in good health, and then make an enclosure for him. And so we're gonna wrap up this video. We're gonna go get him cleaned up, and hopefully find him a good home. Thanks for watching. Bye. As much as I love getting outside and loving reptiles and catching everything, well, not everything that I see, but basically everything. So if you want to have as much fun as I do, you just get out and stay out.